Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Breakdown. Today we'll be looking at the RX 79G Gundam Ground Type, piloted by Shiro Amada, though it can be piloted by Karen Joshua and Sanders as well. The Gundam Ground Type, as you can expect, since the EZ8 is based on the Gundam Ground Type, is basically a low rent EZ8. Uh, most of what it has, the EZ8 can do and does better. Um, so if you like the Gundam Ground Type, uh, do not expect it to get a, a favorable review in this in this review. Uh, I actually think the Gundam Ground Type is basically inferior in every way to the EZ8, and there's not really any reason to pick it. It's a 200 cost instead. But what it brings isn't great enough to make up for that, I think. Um, the only cool thing about it, in my opinion, is the burst. Um, but we'll get there. Uh, so it's another manual reloader. You have 60 rounds. The rounds do decent enough damage. Uh, the chain gun's pretty solid. Um, you can also reload with left trigger. That's all your left trigger does as the ground type is reload. It's kind of a waste of a, of a button slot because it could have at least had something cool there. But nothing, not even like a defense or something, but just, just reload, you know. Um, missiles are fine. Uh, you cannot reload them to make them faster. Then you, of course, have the striker, uh, which is, for some reason, a fighting striker, and it uses the tackle and the charge that you saw in the EZ-8. Again, I'm going to be really down on the ground type today, I'm sorry, but the melee is not as full fleshed out as the easy 8s melee, uh, but it has the basic versions of all of the easy 8s melees. Uh, you saw back melee a moment ago. It has the side melee, which has a follow-up. Shoulder charge. It has the basic melee. And then it has the forward melee, which is, of course, if you're dashing, the charge, and if you're not, is the basic attack. The only thing that it really has that's kind of special, I guess, other than the, the EZ-8, is that, like the EZ-8, it can also switch forms. And then, like the EZ-8, melee changes a little bit. Um, I think the melee is, is pretty basic still. But it is slightly different, and again, differences will be cool, in my opinion have the kick that follows into the, the charge. Um, you also have the burst, and as we mentioned earlier, the burst is new, which is pretty cool. Uh, you team up with the rest of the team and take out your opponent, uh, which is pretty nice. That's pretty cool. You can even see the hover tank in there, if you're paying attention. Uh, there it is. And you get, if you succeed with it, you get a different victory screen, which is pretty cool. Um, I wish that there had been more changes to the suit itself, though. To make that difference, I think that there are other suits in this game that have like a lower cost variant that are cooler uh, without having to be DLC or something like that. And I just wish that we had seen a little bit more of that here. It's perfectly serviceable, does the job just fine. But of course, now we ask the question should you use the ground type? And I think the answer is no. There's no reason to use the ground type over the EZ8 other than cost. And uh, cost is not a big enough thing if you just don't die. And I know it's easy to say, well, don't die, just get good, haha. But, like, for real, just use the abilities that you have to your advantage, work together with your team if you're playing with a team. Because the amount of extra damage you put out as the EZ8 is so much better that there's no point in going for a lower cost just to be able to avoid a little bit more cost. Um, it works exactly like the EZ-8 here, as you can see, there's tracking on it. You even still have the zoomed-in mode to allow you to, to get a better look at your opponent for longer-range shooting. It's exactly the same. Uh, however, on left trigger, you now have a bazooka, which is kind of cool. Again, it's different, but I'll take it. It's one of the very few differences in this suit. Um, you only have the one shot before it has to reload, but it does decent damage if it hits. It does not have the same tracking that your basic shots do, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. Still pretty nice. Again, the striker's good, just like the EZ-8 striker. The striker's real good. Uh, but as you can see, without the tracking, it can be really hard to land, especially when you're at a range where the rest of your stuff does track, and you're expecting it to track, and then it doesn't, which is kind of unfortunate. <sighs> Thankfully, you can still turn, even if the rest of the team does not in that burst, which is pretty cool. There are a few small things that, that make it a nifty suit. It's just not 
better than the Easy 8 in any way, in my opinion. And so if you're going to choose one, since you don't have a cap on how many people can use a suit, why wouldn't you use the Easy 8? You know? That's just my opinion, but... In my opinion, this suit is basically worthless compared to the Easy 8. Uh, because the Easy 8 does everything it does better. And so there's no reason to ever use it. Um, if you just really want to use it because the cost or because you like the burst and so you want to capitalize on that, uh, range is really where you want to you want to spend uh, because the homing on these uh, that allow you to get somebody that's sidestepping pretty easily. Um, melee is not really where the suit's at, but if they have to get in, melee in the, the uh, long range variant is the one I would go for uh, because the stab that does quite a bit of damage you can go with the other variant uh, and just count on the chain gun for damage and it will rack up some damage but it's just not as much damage as you might want it to with all that said though I have been Trey this has been the full spectrum and remember to always enjoy the full spectrum the Gundam ground type has to offer